And as you guys know, my seller is iBaby888 as iBaby does have the latest and the greatest all times, even though this is not a performance, clone, copy, fake, whatever you want to call it, but it is still considered a prototype and as you guys have seen before on the prototypes that were released, they were almost 100% accurate. So I really have a lot of hopes on this particular one. Like I said before, it may not be the best, but at least we can get an idea of what the Samsung original Samsung Galaxy Note 8 will most likely look like. So here without further ado, let's go ahead and open this package and see what comes inside. As you guys can see, I have held all my temptations to open this particular package just so that I could do it in front of the cameras. And as you guys know, DHL is really fast in the United States. So here we have the yellow box as usual. On this side, I already saw my address. So I'm just gonna hide it for privacy purposes. Let's go ahead and break the box loose here from the sides as I can already see the lines indicating that most likely it's going to open from the top or I think this is the top side. Let me just confirm that here quickly. And maybe we should just cut it the beast way. Everything works well when you do it a little rough. And here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 prototype box. So I think that in this version, we're going to see something more similar like the original Samsung Galaxy S8 box, but maybe with a Note 8 logo on it. So here we have the box. As a matter of fact, it looks like the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and maybe the S7 box. It just says here, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. As you guys can tell, we have the S Pen uh, picture on the side of the phone or the box, excuse me. On the front here, this one is claiming to have 64 gigs of internal memory, but in reality, it's only going to have about eight gigs of internal memory. We have here the fake specs, uh, giving us here the information as if it was actually the original Samsung Galaxy Note 7, from what I can see so far. So let's go ahead and break the seal. And that's something the Chinese can't replicate, or maybe give us a prototype about, is the box that's because maybe that is the last thing that Samsung creates so they don't have an idea of what it will look like but if I were them I will make something similar to the SA box maybe that's just me so anyways here we have the sliding box very similar to the US models on the inside you can see the Samsung logo once again I can already see the big 8 on it and wow here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note a prototype guys. This is just crazy great Look on the back side. It looks to be honest with you very similar to the Samsung Galaxy S8 as you guys can see with the exception that the fingerprint scanner is now located on the other side and That's something that a lot of reviewers mention on their videos for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Is that they wish that maybe the fingerprint scanner was on the opposite side and they have done it here At least the Chinese have done it with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 Maybe Samsung realized about the problem and they corrected it somewhat So here on the back side we have some sort of glass material. We got the Samsung logo on there then on the front, of course, we're not going to have the Infinity display like on the original Samsung Galaxy S8 and hopefully the Note 8 as well. We can see we have some bezels on the bottom, but at least they have traced where the display may end up. So we can see here we got the Samsung logo, something that most likely would not happen with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Um, on the side here, we have the volume rockers up and down. Then towards the bottom here, we have the USB Type-C with a main microphone, the loudspeaker, and the 3.5mm headphone jack. And we find the S Pen, okay? I'm not sure if this is exactly how the original S Pen will look like, but I'm assuming that it will. And so far, I don't see any Samsung logos on here. It is made of aluminum, actually, and it feels very nice and sturdy. It doesn't have any buttons as of right now. Nothing clicks, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and place this back onto the phone and I believe this one is carrying the Android um, Marshmallow 6.0. We do not have the Android Nougat 7.0 something that most likely will come shipped with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 original. So let's go ahead and set this aside for now. Let's go ahead and check and see what else comes inside of the box. We got here some manuals. Okay, as always. 
and these are actually for the S8 as you guys can tell so yes most likely the accessories are not going to be included with the original product it might be a little bit different we do have here the wall charger then we have a divider where we're going to find the earphones and finally the USB cable with the USB type C end right there as you guys can see it and inside of the box we have nothing else so let's go ahead and power this baby on and see what's underneath coming back here to the fake Samsung Galaxy Note 8 I did forget to mention that towards the top you have what appears to be some iris scanning sensors a front facing camera of about 2 megapixels and we have a sensor that I'm not sure if it's painted in blue or maybe it is on right now even though the phone is completely shut down I have to say guys that the design looks very promising I do like what I see and the phone actually has here an illusion with glass trick that it has a curved display but this one is not going to have a real curved display it's going to be all flat panel and I believe the size is going to be either 5.5 inches or 5.7 inches I really don't have the details completely about the phone unfortunately because iBaby just got this from the factory and he shipped it to me very quickly so getting this thing powered on we're going to find there the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 logo, very common. It's almost a tradition with Samsung Galaxy devices. Uh, so far, there we go. It has come on. We can see the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 logo and towards the bottom says powered by Android. Now, I'm not going to do a complete hands-on about the device. This is just a demonstration so you guys can see how physically the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 will most likely look like. But then when it comes to the operating system, it's going to be very similar to what we saw in the Galaxy Note 7 at least for the time that we had it and here is the operating system now this time towards the bottom we have something very similar to the original Samsung Galaxy S8 as we know already we have all the buttons located on the screen but now due to the fact that it does have some bezels it looks a little bit strange those black bezels on the top and bottom um, here we have the app tray and we can find some basic applications on here like the Google Play YouTube and all those basic applications nothing very crazy Let's go here into settings and then here we find the rest of the information about the device. Let's go here into language and input. Let's select language and there we can see all the ones that we have. Now I had doubts about the operating system on this device so for this let's go here into maybe routine management and we can see that it's claiming to have the Android Nougat 7.0 but it is in fact the Marshmallow 6.0. So yes guys, so far it seems like a very cool prototype and they could be correct, they could be wrong. But so far this is what we have and as we get new prototypes, of course I'll be completing videos. Uh, so here we have the camera on this particular fake device. We can see that the UI has not changed whatsoever. On the front side we have the 2 megapixel camera and I can tell that it is super laggy. Again guys, this is not considered... A performance device this is only so that you guys can see the live prototype I guess of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 with this being said if you guys have any questions just make sure to leave the comments below don't forget to like this video if you think it was helpful subscribe for more and I'll see you guys on my next one